Spokane's sheriff was attacked by one of his own deputies today in a demonstration of just how dangerous people armed with knives and other handheld weapons can be. KXLY force Jeff Humphrey was there for the training session and Jeff, the sheriff is going to great lengths to make a point. Yeah, Robin Ozzie Knezovich is still very concerned about the public's perception of the way these two recent shootings went down. He insists he does not have a trigger happy department. And today, in the course of demonstrating that, the sheriff literally went to the mat for his deputies. Spokane Sheriff is a former SWAT team commander, but still not fast enough to get his gun out of his holster before a man with a knife is on top of him. Even when the assailant is 21 feet away, Ozzy Knezovich starts getting slashed in less than a second. Like this officer in Chicago found out, bladed weapons can do as much damage as a gun. If that incapacitates me, I get, I'm taken out of the fight. I have to have the survival mentality and mode that if I lose that fight, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to die. Deputy Eric Johnson is the taser instructor for the sheriff's office. He thinks the taser is a great tool if someone decides they want to fist fight their way out of an arrest, but not when they're armed with a weapon. We don't bring a taser to a knife fight. We don't bring a taser to a gun fight. If you have a tire iron, a pipe, we're not bringing the taser to that. We bring a firearm to those types of fights because that is that is a deadly engagement. And deputies are at a loss to explain why they are being assaulted here in Spokane at a rate nearly twice the national average. They say using deadly force is the last thing they want to do. No one really wants to hurt anybody. You know that that is not what you want to do. It's just something that we end up doing at times based on the reactions of the people we're dealing with. Now, the vast majority of officer-involved shootings happen within the first 60 seconds that police officers or deputies are on the scene. Today, we also learned that when tasers are deployed here in Spokane, they're only working about 60% of the time, in part because we now know that inmates in prison are trading secrets about how to defeat the taser. Reporting live in Spokane, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4.